Hey there, YouTube. How is it going? Welcome back to Phantom Chasers. Uh, looks like right off the bat I'm noticing that there's a couple of new events that are just starting. Uh, let's take a look at these. Let's see what's Adventure Week. Alright, let's see here. Uh, November 28th through December 5, two events. Event 1... Half Stanima. Ooh. And event two, half recovery time. Very nice. Starting November 28th, 1300 until December 5th, 1030. Uh, while playing Adventure Mode, the Temporal Rift and Weeping Cave Battlefield. Half stamina cost. That is freaking awesome. During event, 50% uh, reduce uh, stamina recovery time. So stamina will fill back up faster and it costs half. So you can do a whole bunch of crap during that period. So make sure you guys are on as much as you can to get stuff done. Additional patch for events announcements. Server patch will be implemented during 1240 to 1250 to apply the event on opening day. Oh, so, okay, it'll be down for a little bit during whatever that time period is. So, what's this other one here? Goblin Invasion. See what this is. Uh, 1128 to 11:30. Goblins are coming. Let's protect your base and get valuable rewards. Period. Uh, 1128 through November 30, 1300 to 1700. Event detail in participate in special mission and clear dungeon rewards. Re will be sent according to the star you earn for clearing stage. Reward 3 star 1 to 4 summon ticket 6 star growth material summon 9 star dimensional crystals 32 I need more yeah, let's go I wonder if I can do is that open now let's go see because I need more dimensional crystals. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there in the uh, corner underneath event item. It says special mission. Let's go check that out. So what we got to do for that. Load. Okay. Goblin spider. Okay, so it closes in 2 hours and 20 minutes. Uh. So let's do this top one here. Goblin spotted. As you can see, I've been doing some grinding. We got Marie up to level 150. Um, this is gonna be insane overkill. These load times are freaking ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm bothering to use special <laughs> one goblin. Okay. That was a uh, something, I guess. They're all level one again. Did you guys see that? It said there were, it showed a whole bunch of possible monsters and they were all level one. Well, uh, I highly recommend you guys go do this event because uh, hopefully you guys see this and get this event done uh, on time because it's really easy and I mean you get stuff for it, so you might as well do it. Let's 
see what the next stage is. I won again. Really? It's just spend your stamina points and kill really easy to kill goblins, I guess. There's no challenge to any of this at all. Did they do that on purpose? I am so confused. Like, seriously guys, this is not a challenge. Just because you put more of them doesn't make it more difficult. They're level one. I'm confused though, is that all three of it already? Or is this like all one thing? <laughs> really? Oh, stupid phone. Really? Just like that? That's all it took? Crystals. Well, that was um, really easy. Standing honor. Okay, so what can we do next? My face is in the way. She's pretty cool. Oh, I know. Um, I wanted to talk a minute about star stones. And what the best thing that you can spend star stones on is. Now, do I recommend buying these packages? Now, do I don't recommend. I mean, you know, if you want to, if you want to get yourself a few, then go ahead. But this is not really a good deal. I actually recommend waiting for events or something like that. Um, as far as events go, the Joy Growth Pack and these other two packs are all. We're all pretty decent. Yeah, it's still recording. Well, uh, that just crashed. Like, hardcore. That was great. What was I saying? Um, yeah, so the packs were worth it. The Black Friday packs, those are done now, but those were trash also. I definitely do not recommend those. Um... I mean, if you want to buy a few star stones every once in a while, go for it. Just don't spend too much money on it. You're better off waiting for packs. Um, as far as using star stones, though, uh, if this game would load the F back up, it would be great. It would be really, really nice. Be nice. Just. Alright, so what to spend star stones on. First of all, normally I do actually recommend using it for stamina refreshes to grind uh, and level up your characters. I mean, I moved Marie from level 80 to level 150 in a few hours today. Uh, just by grinding with her and spending a few star stones on being able to get stuff done. But with this new event going on, you're not going to have to do that as often. Other things you can spend it on would be, you could spend a little bit on Scalar Tower if you want, but don't spend too much because every time you do it, the cost goes up. I actually did it a couple of times today. Um, I don't do it more than once a day very often. And a lot of times I don't even do it at all. 
Um, but, uh, we, especially with the cost going up like that, but two stones uh, to do it once a day is not a big deal. Uh, just don't get too far ahead of yourself. It's a good idea to keep this easy. And if you do too many at a time, you're going to get to the point where you get stuck and you can't do it anymore. Um, and then, I mean, you know, you, for River of Fire, uh, a 10 stone reset is pretty pricey for what you've got here. I don't recommend that. Uh, you can get good items there, but I don't know. I just don't recommend it. Uh, you know, doing Temporal Rift, uh, Abyss of Time or Labyrinth of Time, or um, uh, just doing adventure and grinding out, getting as far as you can. To collect more star stones, by the way, you collect a lot of star stones in this stuff. And then, um, uh, just getting as far as you can in leveling up characters is basically what I recommend using star stones for. But you can save them until you have, um, Thing for her. I definitely want to transcend her more. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, guys. I totally had a massive brain fart there. So, um, man, what was I saying? Holy crap, I'm getting old. Oh, that's ridiculous. But, you know, oh, okay, sorry. So, basically, just using the star stones uh, for grinding. Oh, I don't remember what it was. I was saying you could save them and do some summon summons like I've been doing if you want uh, once in a while. But you're probably better off waiting for like a summoning event or something like that. I'm sure. I, you know, I don't know if they're going to have those. But even waiting to do the 11x summon 33 is not actually saving you any money at all it's actually the exact same price as if you just do them one at a time so if you wanted to just do a couple you can it's just more cool when you get a whole when you do it the other way it seems like it increases your odds of um getting uh four stars oh by the way that reminds me i'm gonna go look at somebody real quick here Somebody told me that Blue Dragon is a really, really good tank. Close range defense. I'm going to go look at his skills again. Okay. Blue Dragon's armor increases block rate by 70%. Melee block by 1247, range block by 2146 for 20 seconds, and taunts to all enemies in front for 10 seconds to spelled T W O, and then all enemies in front for 10 seconds. Nice translating there, guys. <laughs> that is so terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Uh, taunt attacks aggressor with basic attack. So it forces them to use only basic attacks for 10 seconds. And they only attack him. Next one. Uh, attacks all enemies in front for with 2,500 of attack and applies knock, knockdown on all enemies. Attacks all enemies in front, dealing 1730 damage. Passive. Blue Dragon's Roar increases defense by 217.5 and blocks nearby enemy attacks. Has a 70% chance to taunt them for 7 seconds. 
The dragon's claws attacks all enemies in front. So I don't know, it seems like pretty good. Maybe he's got, let me see, let's go back to his stats. Interesting. I don't know, maybe he is pretty good. Who's the other tank that I'm So the other tank that I'm using right now is actually, um... Ingus. Jesus. So she's only three star though, but uh, increases defense by 4,970 for 15 seconds. That's just on her. Warrior Shout taunts a single enemy for eight seconds and deals 5,500 attack damage. Uh, increases block rate by 30%, melee block by 4,000, and range block by 4,000. Shield push, attacks frontal enemies, and Thorn is still locked. And she's not too bad, she's definitely a tank. Maybe not as tanky as the other guy. Lulu is a pretty good healer, I like her. More reason than one. <laughs> uh, I've been working on Anubis too, because I get one. I, I want to be able to have a dexterity, uh, close range attacker. What the hell? Did it just crash on me again? Nice patch, guys. All right, well, anyways, you guys get the point, right? See you later. Like, subscribe. Maybe my phone will stop crashing if you guys like and subscribe and watch all my videos and I can replace the goddamn thing.